everyone and welcome back to another pack with me vlog if you're new around here my name is brogan and i do lots of travel and lifestyle vlogs and my pack with me's have become a thing i do for most of the trips that i go on lots of you love to see exactly what i take with me because i end up with loads of little bits and bobs and little helpful tips for you if you're heading off on a cruise there might be some things that might help you however However, I have struggled so much today. I've been filming all day and I ended up packing so much that I couldn't fit it in a big case, a little case, a rucksack and a handbag. And I was just overwhelmed with how much I decided to try and squish in. And don't get me wrong, I am a massive overpacker, but that was taking it to a new level. I had seven evening dresses, seven jumpers, five different pairs of trousers like it was excessive and i think i struggled because we're heading up to norway we're going to the norwegian fjords sailing on piano cruises iona never been to norway before and it's end of april so it's well, it's a bit chilly up there but today is so warm it's like in the 20 degrees region i don't even know but it's warm and so it's warming up in norway too but they have had snow in the last week. It's been like minus temperatures, but when I check on the weather app, it's like seven, eight degrees. So I kind of feel like jeans, trainers, and layers is gonna be fine. I had two trainers, two jeans. I had like thick walking trousers, and I just can't quite get my head around what I need for this trip. It's like throwing me off. And especially when you go on a cruise holiday, you need your nice evening outfits and gala dinner nights and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is show you exactly what I've packed and if there comes a moment where I filmed it in a bit more detail, we'll cut back to earlier in the day and show you. So like my dresses, for example, I'll show you them on the hangers. But this is the final stuff that I've decided on. I've got two suitcases, a big and a little one. And then I'm going to have a small crossbody bag. And that is what we're rolling with. So let me show you what we're packing. For my travel outfit, I'm wearing a green top with a green midi skirt. I've even put out my underwear. I need a pair of chub rub shorts, like Spanx, to put underneath. And then I've got a black sports bra, mask, sunglasses, and these shoes I bought recently from Roxy. So these I'm going to wear around the ship. They're quite easy to wear, and they're comfy, and they kind of go with everything. So they're great. So I'm going to wear those. They're just slip-on ones. I wish you could feel them, because they're like memory foam inside. I love them. So to start off with the suitcases I've got this is my big one and the small one is down there they are from a brand called away I did a whole review video earlier in the week so I'll leave that linked up here and down below for you but they're amazing suitcases and you can fit so much in them but this is exactly what I've decided on so I'm going to whiz through for you I'm going to take a day rucksack this is by Roxy got this in the sale recently so that's my day bag for shoes, I've got one pair of heels. I did have more earlier, but oh, the sunshine. Hopefully you can still see. One pair of heels, one pair of flats for those evenings that I don't want to wear heels when it's a bit more casual. A pair of flip-flops for the spa and the pools and one pair of trainers. So, you know, I think I've done well here. I did have a lot more shoes, guys, but this is what we've condensed to. <laughs> I've got gym gear for yoga in the mountains is one of the activities we're doing. So Lululemon leggings, a sports bra and a top. That's from M&S. That's from Under Armour. We've got a pair of pyjamas, a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. I've got two swimming options. So this is a swimming cosy from TK Maxx. This is a lovely bikini from a brand called Pour Moi. I love them. They're my favourite swimmer brand. But I thought I'd take both options. So I have either a swimming costume or a bikini. Then I've got my evening dresses. So I'll cut you back to show you what they all look like. I actually have two options for gala night, but whatever I don't wear, I'll just wear on another night anyway. I don't think it really matters too much. We have a couple of really nice dinners booked in at some of the really lovely restaurants on board. So I have this dress, which is an old faithful. It's from Zara and I bought it for my first cruise a few years ago and it still fits me, which is just some miracle considering we've been through a pandemic and I'm definitely not the same size anymore, but it does seem to still fit. I think because I wear it with no bra and it's like nice and loose, um, it just zips up and it's all lacy on the back and it's just gorgeous. It makes me feel really good. It's got nice little lacy sleeves. So this will always, always come with me. It's my cruise dress now. The second option I have is this star print one. This is from Phase 8. I bought it before Christmas. The glitter does sort of drop off a little bit, but it is 
really pretty and it's a midi and I can either wear this with heels or with tights and flats depending on how I'm feeling so I'm gonna pack that as well because it's a really nice evening dress the next dress I bought for Dubai I can't remember oh yeah I did wear it in Dubai it's a monsoon dress I got in the sale the colors on this dress are so pretty again it's a midi it's just nice and floaty it looks great with a pair of heels and it's got long arms so if it is chilly in the evenings or on board this would be an appropriate dress it's not like a strappy a strappy summery dress this is definitely coming with me in fact the next three dresses are all zara i love zara dresses this is a silky green dress this i really normally wear with heeled boots but i don't want to pack them because i'll only wear them with this outfit so that's a little bit annoying but i think i can get away with wearing it with black flats that I've packed. I will be wearing a pair of tights with that dress, so we're gonna make sure we've got enough tights to go with the dresses that we're, I'm wearing tights with. I think all the dresses I've showed you so far, I wouldn't wear tights with. Actually, the star one I might wear tights with. These are um, snag tights, and I recently switched over to these. I also have M&S, but snag, a lot of you recommend to me. They are really good tights. Um, my friend Louise works with them and she always highly recommends them as well. They are very, very good. So always snag tights. We've got those. This is a spotty Zara dress. If you watched a vlog recently when we went to see Ed Sheeran at the Royal Albert Hall, you'll know what this looks like. Again, a pair of tights. It's just a black spotty little dress. And then the last dress that I pulled out was this another Zara one again it's a little bit more casual it's a short dress with tights and yeah I can see me wearing this on like the first night so yeah we'll put those in a packing cube I've got all of my underwear so tights socks and I obviously have socks for my trainers when we go out in the day and then the white socks are to wear with my Roxy shoes in terms of trousers, I ended up with one pair of jeans from M&S, one pair of like walking leggings from a brand called Crag Hoppers. These are like warm inside, they're nice and um, comfy and great for walking. And then I also have a black jumpsuit from Phase 8 that I thought would be comfortable for disembarking when we travel home. I've ended up with four tops, so one t-shirt that is a Roxy one. I really like the back on this actually, as you can see from earlier, um, that's a new one. One, a stripy one from Sainsbury's, a plain white bodysuit from Hollister and this is a plain t-shirt from Sainsbury's. It just says bonjour on the side and I thought I could wear that with the skirt that I'm wearing to embark. For my jumpers, I do actually have quite a few here but I feel like I want them all. I did again have more. We've got a thinner easy to wear around the ship jumper from Salt Rock. These two are from the same brand. It's Market and Spruce but I got them in my Stitch Fix boxes. This one is thinner and it's like one of these obviously um zip v-necks and this one is more like waffle thicker i can wear that out and about then i have this zip up roxy jacket that's also good for going out and about during the day and this i got in primark it says the great outdoors it's um peanuts the brand and the characters and then my only other clothes i have done here are pants and a couple of different bra options i like really comfy bras but i had to think about bras for my dresses for the evenings and and comfy ones in the day one snood like soft scarf one little bobble hat yeah i think we'll just go one hat one hat's plenty isn't it gloves will it be that cold oh my friend gary's calling me now hello this is just a quick call before you head off on your adventures ah oh, thanks i'm just packing i'm currently wearing gloves a hat and a scarf to decide which ones i want to pack <laughs> <laughs> And it's so sunny outside. <laughs> oh gosh, honestly. And then two coats. So I've got this white one I got in TK Maxx. Uh, it's, it's actually a Norwegian brand. Live for the journey, not the destination. Nordberg, Norwegian outdoors. I've just checked the weather and it's not going to be as cold as maybe I thought it was because there was snow last week. But this week I think it's going to warm up. This will keep me warm. If I've got a scarf and gloves and a hat and stuff, I'll definitely have this. I'll pack this white one. I have two North Face coats, which I alternate between for whatever activity I'm doing. So if it's cold wind, but it's like a summery day, then I'll go for this light North Face raincoat. But if it's cold, then I have one of these sort of thicker, warmer North Face coats. So these are the best. I think these are well worth the investment, especially if, I've, if you have a dog. I wear these every day. 
So I think I'm gonna want this because it's warm and I can layer with it. But then again, if I am wearing layers, then this is better because I, yeah, it still keeps me warm and it's easier to roll up in my rucksack. It's perfect, it's quite long on my body as well. It's just the most amazing coat. That is all my clothes. The rest is a little bit miscellaneous. So over here we have all my hair bits. So we've got hair brushes, my Dyson Airwrap, my Cloud9 hair straighteners and my hair products, including Lush Curl Power and Super Milk, I think it's called. That's for if I want my hair curly and i have a couple of other products down here from lee stafford a dry shampoo and a shine spray and then just some of the attachments for the hair dryer hair brushes from tangle teaser and this is basically it's empty at the moment but it's a spritz water bottle that i use to do my curls and then obviously bits clips um, accessories and i also have a little hair towel as well just because it's so much better than using like a hand towel i have a little tote bag and a little snack bag so this is just a mini mouse tote bag i've had forever very handy for if we're going to the pool or the spa i can just chuck our towels and a book and our headphones and whatever and then this is a little snack bag i thought i could pack it up for the day um with snacks obviously i bought this in a shop in majorca and then obviously speaking of snacks i've got some tuck biscuits for us to chuck in the room and some jaffa cakes obviously there's going to be so much food on board we're going to be fine but i just thought i'd have some snacks so we can take those out for the day a water bottle i got this in tk max i've got a four-way extension block and this is an ikea usb plug so i can charge loads of things at once i don't need to worry about sockets and plug adapters because on board a piano cruise everything is um british plugs so that's handy this little tiny stackers jewelry case has one pair of earrings for dinner for like nice gala night dinner when it comes to my tech i have loads and loads of bits so we've got my nintendo switch i've got the oled model love it gopro hero 10 osmo um this is for my iphone it's like a gimbal <laughs> Canon M50 camera. This is my gadget bag. So we've got a GoPro chest mount and then all the leads and whatnot. I will always have a spare Canon camera that I vlog with. And then you'll see in here I have more leads and a hard drive. In fact, I'll probably stick that in the top there. That's probably easier. I also have a tripod because I need it for a video I want to film for you. These are magnets. You can get these on Amazon. It's the most amazing cruise hack. I'll show you in the vlogs. They literally just magnet to the wall and then you get extra hooks, which is great for hanging your coats and bags and belts and whatnot. Just find them very, very good. I've used them twice now and yeah, always pack those. A lanyard is super helpful. I've got this one from Bath and Body Works. It's just great for when you're going around the ship to carry your card. This little pouch has got really miscellaneous things. I've got some Bassett adult vitamins I take every day, face masks, spare tissues, anti-back, and a second pair of sunglasses, just in case I break or lose the ones I'll be wearing. My normal reading glasses, a reading book, and a first aid kit just popped in some c bands neither benji or i get seasick but just in case one of us does or somebody in the group because we are joining like a press group just in case somebody needs them um you put them on your wrist and they help like they put a pressure point on your wrist anyway that's those um then i've just got like all our medication loads of bits and bobs plasters creams um baby powder always comes in handy you never know bongella that kind of thing so i'm going to zip that back up obviously going on the cruise there'll be first aid on board so if we have any emergencies or any major cuts or whatever there'll be doctor and first aids um but yeah i always pack this every single trip because i guarantee you we need something in it and sometimes you, you know when someone's like oh do you have a uh, paracetamol i'm like mm -hmm, i do or sometimes benji needs one i'm like i got it i got it one little bag for the evenings i'll also have the this green bag this is going to be on my body i've got some makeup bits in there my purse spare mask my airpods so that all is sorted. Just done the health declaration, which we had to do up to three days before. So I've just done that and I need to print it out. And whilst I am doing the final bit of paperwork, I just thought I'd show you that I have this little folder, which is so helpful for traveling. And I have used a label maker to label up inside. So I don't want to show you 
all our documents but you can see i have e-tickets boarding passes covid passes car parking health declaration i just added in and our insurance to go on a cruise right now you do need to make sure you have all of that information i'm going to leave a link to luggage tags below for cruises and these are amazing i don't want to show you all our details but as you can see you can basically print out the luggage labels and they are designed to just go straight on a case but this is just so much better right i'm sorting out the games and i have tied up these now so we have uno dino dump yahtzee which is with dice and a pack of cards and travel scrabble which is our new favorite one we have loads of two player games we love but when we travel we just want light small stuff so we just take some car games. I took a shower cap back from the last hotel we stayed in. So always pack one of those because they're really good. If any tra trainers get dirty, you can wrap them up in a shower cap. And then I've got a couple of sun creams here, Garnier ones. And then I have to decide what skincare and stuff I'm gonna take. I've got eczema cream. This is what I use for my eczema. I've really been loving at the moment, my favorite skincare, well, always, I always, always, always use Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. And I have a small version that I can take with me but I'm really loving this Kate Somerville exfoliate exfoliate oh good cleanser this is dreamy and it's been giving me really lovely glowy skin but I obviously need to pack fairly well like even though we're going on a cruise so and we're going from Southampton so we're not flying they still have a weight allowance just because people will be handling our cases so I can't go too nuts this little bum bum cream which sounds funny name but it is amazing I could fill up um lush aroma toner water I've got a little one that's empty actually that one's is that one in date yeah that one's okay could take that as my toner instead because it's a bit smaller. I've got this Garnier Vitamin C Serum that I quite like as well. So maybe we'll take that. So I think I may just swap out some of my skincare for some smaller bits. And maybe we'll take the Kate Somerville moisturiser to compensate. I don't know. This is a little cube thing from Primark. And I have put little labels on. This has got leave-in conditioner. I do have some shower gel. We're getting there. The conditioner is thick. So I have to like gently do a pump and then <laughs> it down. I'm probably not even going to use this much, but I'd rather fill it up and then not run out. Right, I've got my list for toiletries and I've started laying it out. So this is how it's looking. Then what I'll do is just tick off. Right, I'm going to pack all my toiletries and this is the lovely wash bag I'm using. This is from a brand called Elizabeth Scarlet. They very kindly sent this to me. So shampoo, conditioner, pot my skincare, cleanser, toner, serum, deodorant, I'm standing everything upright, creams, contact lenses, toothpaste, and there's little pouches on the side, a nail file, you never know when you need one of those. I've got these are face halos i'll leave these linked i love them i have so many it's how i take my makeup off with just water get the majority off and then i go in with a cleanser and i can use one side per night so that should be enough that i'll need my perfumes i've got a razor and i've lost the little case that it was in so i'm gonna try and put that in one of the pockets too just so i don't hurt myself my eczema cream could go in the first aid kit but i use it quite regularly so We'll leave that i've got a space mask in case i can't sleep i always pack one of these for travel although i sleep so well on a cruise ship i can't tell you um and then we've got sun cream and i've also got a flannel this is a tropic skincare one so that's all of my main toiletries i've just found my chanel coco mademoiselle perfume so i'm actually going to take that and Giorgio armani my way and where's the other one gone full street arizona bloom these are my favorite three favorite perfumes you know when you just want them all because they make you feel good i think definitely chanel and my way intense i'll leave floral street here so now i'm gonna pack it into packing cubes which i've already organized i've got away packing cubes and a few of these yellow compression packing cubes are from amazon actually if i can find links to anything i've shown you i will leave the links um so that's that um i think that is everything and just in case you're like wow brogan that's so organized this was everything i wanted to take as well and 
I got rid of. Okay, so I thought I'd time lapse me putting everything in, and as you can see, I'm using the pink away suitcase packing cubes, which are amazing. And sometimes I'll open up the cube again and squish something else in, but yeah, I managed to fit quite a lot in. I was really proud of myself for this. <laughs> so that is all my clothes packed up in those packing cubes. The rest is sort of miscellaneous bits and bobs. So let's see how we get it all in here. So just like packing cubes, putting your clothes inside a cube, it is a case of just shimmying things around seeing what fits where a bit like tetris you want to try and squish things in where they'll work and then i ended up using my rucksack for the remaining items but i'm still undecided i might end up using the small away case as well um, just because i'm allowed to and i'm not flying i still need to pack my laptop and makeup so maybe i might need to move a couple of things into benji's bag but i think i've done a good job i've managed to fit all the extra stuff in my rucksack. I'll have that as my little handbag. Everything has fit inside my medium away case and it weighs 23 kilograms, which is the exact um, weight it needed to be. I am embarrassed at how long this has taken me to pack today. And the next trip I go on, I am gonna really do it over a course of a few more days because, oh my gosh, this has really um, been hard to like work out what I need and what I don't need, but I think I've done well. One medium case, one rucksack, and I even have a smaller tripod than the one I was gonna take. It kind of sticks out of the <laughs> rucksack, but that's fine. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my chaotic packing. I mean, it look, maybe it doesn't look chaotic to you, but it has been chaotic to me. If you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe. Keep an eye out for cruise vlogs. There's gonna be lots of content coming for you. And I'm just so excited. Come follow me on Instagram if you wanna see some behind the scenes. I'll be sharing stories, reels, and posts while I'm out there and yeah I'm just so excited so let's go to Norway I'll see you when I'm back bye